tuna our milk is almost there it's almost boiling and uh, at this point we are going to add our mixture of uh, cornstarch and skimmed milk we'll add it and uh, make sure you put your all the mixture in the milk and immediately make sure you stir because uh, your your skimmed milk and cornstarch it's sort of a paste it has become to sort of a paste so stir it very well so that it doesn't develop some crumbs or lumps Yeah, as you can see, it's sort of uh, beginning to become like some sort of porridge. Keep stirring well. Don't worry if you get some crumbs, we'll sieve it by the end of the process. Keep stirring until now your milk again boils again completely. When you stir, you'll feel it's a bit thick. So that means that our ice cream texture will be a nice one and make sure you when you buy milk make sure you buy fresh milk otherwise your milk can get spoiled along the way and it won't come out very nice reason why you have to keep stirring your mixture so that uh, it does not develop lumps and uh, you have to keep stirring until you get to the boiling point that's when you see your mixture boils completely and at that time your mixture will be ready and you remove it from fire and let it cool now mixture is ready you can see it's boiling and it seems very nice and thick we'll just some crumbs but uh, we'll sieve the crumbs out and now we are going to remove it from fire and let it cool we can fasten our cooling process by putting it on a cold bath so that it so that it uh, cools off faster and we are going to remove it uh, from fire and let it cool for some few minutes to fasten our process, we, we'll, we are going to use a water bath. We'll submerge our mixture in cold water so that it gets cold faster. So our mixture is cool enough very well. We are going to sieve it just in case it has any lumps. We will need an, an extra bowl for sieving. Save it nicely. The reason as to why we are saving our mixture is so that we don't uh, have more lumps in our 
end product which is ice cream we are going to discard all the lumps that are left on the sieve because it's not advisable to have them on the in our ice cream is ready as you can see it's very creamy and very nice now we've uh, we've finished sieving our our mixture and the reason as to why we are sieving is to make sure that uh, the milk the mixture does not have any crumbs or lumps that will get in our final product we want a very smooth ice cream so that is the that is the reason why we are sieving the the mixture and now since the milk is a, the mixture is a little bit warm we'll put it in the freezer to fasten the process of cooling we don't want it any warm when we mix with the whipping cream so we'll put it in the fridge for a few minutes and it gets more cool 